Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Brian, you are Chords and Notes Nation. You have been invited over for another sofa reaction. You're in my living room, have a seat. I want to watch this with you. Dan Vask with Violet Orlandi. And they are going to be performing Kiss from a Rose. Seals, very, very famous song. And this is going to be a metal cover, so I'm really looking forward to it. In the last Dan Vask video, I had made mention that you guys, I'm going to call you Vaskians. And uh, someone had commented, maybe a couple of you had commented that you were referred to as the Vask Nation. But I look at it this way. I refer to you as Chords and Notes Nation. So you can't have dual citizenship. So here, I will refer to you as my fellow Vaskians. You're going to have to get used to it, folks, because I'm raw, honest, and unedited, and that's how we roll. So, <laughs> anyways, I want to do this. You want to do this. Let's listen to it, and I'll give you my honest reaction afterwards. I'll start it over. I was having issues. I don't know who she is, so fill me in. Is she another independent artist that I can feature?
different guitars. I gotta do something though. I gotta go back a little bit, but I see that they've done another um, duet together, so I think that's gonna be very fun because I really enjoy this. But I gotta, I gotta go back for a second. I wanna show you something, right? About there. Okay. So as I fancy myself to be a bit of a guitar player and been around music and whatnot. Um, and maybe the brightness is a little too too bright on here. You might not be able to see it. I'm looking around at the instruments that are in this room. And I'm not seeing... Okay, so we've got... He's using the Charvel. Um, he was using an Ibanez at one point, and he was also using uh, <clears throat> a Gibson SG. But I'm looking at the other instruments and I'm not seeing any identifying brand marks that you would normally see. I'm not seeing anything here. It's got the SG body shape. I'm not seeing anything up here, any markings. This one looks like it may not even have strings, but that's like a ukulele. Um, I find that very interesting. That is that intentional that they left off the uh, identifying marks. I find that very interesting. So anyways, um, this was a very, very fantastic version. I love their duet. I love the fact that they were able to, um, how do I want to put this? Y you know, Kiss from a Rose is such a good, iconic song probably everybody knows and it's it's not my brand of music but it's the it's a song that i would listen to right anytime i hear it it's like oh yeah i like this song it's really good and so what they were able to do is they were able to take their vocal talents in the way that god has blessed them and use it to create a different version of the song but just as captivating and i think a lot of that had to do with the interplay between their voices and how they were able to manipulate and use their voices in such a way to, to capture that, that beauty and to really emphasize it. Um, the structure of the song was much more metal, much more rigid in that sense. Um, but what, I, what really stood out to me, first of all, was her voice. The tonality of her voice is really strong, really good. But what he did with his voice is something that I wasn't used to because I've reacted to a handful of his songs. Check out the playlist on my channel. And he was kind of dancing around in a little bit of a higher and lighter register. Uh, what do I mean lighter? In the softer parts, it, there wasn't as much beefiness. Now, what, was that? does that come from like the chest where it's just more powerful? Um, I'm not a vocal coach, I don't know. Uh, but what I know is what I hear. And what he was able to do was something a little bit different than what I'm used to. And I just, I thought it was just absolutely fantastic as always. Always fantastic with Dan. And I love this duet. So 
I'm really looking forward to now that I see that they have uh, at least one more song together. I want to listen to that and react to it as well. Uh, that's all I have for this one. I was really pleased with it. So God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. I will talk to you in the near future. Bye.